everybody. Guys, first thing we need to do is get your potatoes boiled. So who's not boiled your potato the potatoes? That's the first thing you need to do is get your potatoes on. 20 minute boil because they're boiled and crushed in spices and baked and actually really yummy. So potatoes need to be boiled. I've just literally just done it. So I'll go and get them. I'll be back in a second. I made these potatoes for a um, for an event yesterday just because I was cooking them for us guys and I thought it'd be a nice thing to do as part of my um, part of a catering job basically and um, I yeah made them yesterday really really lovely um, so you get like crunchy spicy potatoes and then you just put loads of stuff on them to make them extra specially gorgeous so um, so they go in the oven just very simply spiced your chicken will go in spiced they they'll bake and while they bake we make the coleslaw so it's quite an easy cook along um, quite healthy because there's not so yeah I'd say it's quite a healthy one loads of lovely freshness going in there and the potatoes have got the skins on sort of extra fiber so that's good Hi. hello you guys so it's just about getting your starting to get your potatoes boiled that's really important okay um yeah i haven't been to the shop to get a few bits and pieces so i'm going to be improvising but i think that's quite good because if i can then you can it shouldn't put you off make your um cooking so we're going to get your potatoes boiled that's your first job so what you want is for them to be just cooked okay only just cooked because they're going to finish crushing and whatever in the oven so um potatoes cooked let me know if they're not cooked and then we'll marinate the meat so just let me know when you're ready Laurie just asked, should I have cooked the potatoes? Yeah, pop them yes. on, Laurie, do them now. Just get them starting boiling. strange marinade using soy sauce in with tandoori but I think it's because there's they do a lot of Indo-Chinese dishes um, in, from India because China is obviously neighbor and then so, so that's kind of how these um, some of these recipes start and they're just a nice way of um, of adding you know different flavors so it, it's a lighter marinade because it doesn't have all the um yogurt that some of them do uh, all that dairy so i i really like actually this is one of the family favorite marinades so i, I use it quite a lot D did you guys notice that you had it in last night's tea was it last night or the night before one of the reasons nice, yeah. 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 Friday, friday night was oh, it nice yeah, yeah. It was nice yeah so um so we're gonna have some ginger and garlic lemon juice soy sauce sugar and um tamarind uh, sorry tandoori masala so let me know when you're ready and we'll start doing we'll start prepping that give us a thumbs up guys when you're ready to, uh, to start marinate. the marinade to so get your potatoes boiling potatoes don't necessarily have to be cold to start roasting if they are great if they haven't that's fine too they just need boiling first. They just need boiling first. Can I have some of my spatulas, please, Dom? Regina? Yep. I've just got a slight problem. I put the Curry masala will work. Yeah, it, I've got, I've got that. I thought you might say 
Yeah, let's go with a let's go with like a about a half a table, a half because a tandoori we've said um one tablespoon, but curry is really spicier. So use about half a tablespoon or a big heat um thank you or a big tea, heat teaspoon. That'll do. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you want me to do the set? Oh, do you want me to? Okay, so are we ready to start um, start doing this? Yeah. Okay, so, right, I've got half a lemon here. That's going to be um, part of my um, marinade. Now, I'm actually gonna make the marinade up, mix it and then put it into two because I've got a veggie version and a chicken version. So I'm, but I'm making one batch of the, uh, of the, um, uh, of the, marinade up okay so um i'm squeezing all the juice of a half a lemon into this bowl give that a really good squeeze do you know if you put your lemon in the if you squeeze it and then put it in the microwave for sort of 10 seconds you'll just get loads more juice out of that you could try it now if you want to i'm just giving mine a really good squeeze and then I'm popping the, um, just fishing out the pips. Got a couple of pips in there. So that's the reason I start with the, um, with the lemon juice, because it's easier to pop the, fish the uh, pips out. Okay. And we've got uh, two to three garlic cloves. My garlic is, is huge. I've, Bought this from the Indian shop, so I think I'll, I'll use three because I'm doing two different marinades, uh, enough for two, and a big chunk of um, ginger. So I'm going to give the ginger a bit of a peel. I've actually popped my oven on, so if your oven takes ages to heat up, pop it on. If it doesn't, then we'll give it another few minutes. We'll get the, th the bits marinated and then do it. How's everybody? Have you had a good start to your new year? Yeah, thank you. Good, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Gina. Thank you, thank you. I'm three stone four pound down now. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> oh, these, these, these cheekbones. <laughs> Look <amazing>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you felt like that about me, Kathy. Thank you. <laughs> um, I uh, I've got about another th two stones, two and a half to go. I think I will know when I'm ready. So it's good. I just feel happy going to the gym. is re It's really weird. Like I just feel I wake up. I'm really more productive. I've, I've been um, engrossed with doing my tax return so far with January. So that's just taken up so much time. But hopefully I can. I'm really going to focus on Curry Club. I'm good. I'd like to know what you guys would want to learn to cook for the rest of the year, or, or even just like the next three or four months because. I'm going to get all the recipes written up and get it all where it needs to be so that we're ready, okay? So I, I, that's what I need from you guys. Anything that you'd like to learn. Okay, so the ginger garlic, I had a bit of fibrous bits from that uh, ginger. I've just given it a squeeze to get the juice out and I've chucked the fibro, fibrous bits and I've kept um, the rest. Uh, sorry, got the juice and just chucked it really. Just because I don't want that all over my over the chicken. And then I'm just going to put the ginger and the garlic into... Ginger and garlic is such a fresh herb, but it's also really good for you. Um, so that's why I encourage us to use it, use so much of it. Okay. And then we've got a teaspoon of sugar, a strange one. It just, make, it just makes all of this kind of marry up really nicely. So a teaspoon of sugar. This is for our chicken. 
a tablespoon of tandoori masala. So, um, Liz, you'll just do a teaspoon, okay? I think curry will be, make it too much. And then I've said three tablespoons of soy sauce, quite a lot. That's where your savoury is going to come from. So you don't, you're not going to put any more salt in. Well, one, two, three. And just give that a bit of a mix. And I'm going to pop half of this mix into um, into the chicken here and half into my veggie veggie mix here and give that a good mix around now um who's got who's using air fryers these days you know an air fryer anybody using an air fryer Liz is saying no okay because the, the chicken will cook up really nicely in an air fryer if you had one if you were using them if individually they don't taste so great don't be too too um, disheartened by it because we've got the fresh flavors of the salad we've got the punchy flavors of the potatoes when you put it all together on your dish it's just gorgeous and you can always you know you can always add um, have a, um, a bit of naan with it if you wanted or you know I think like a bread roll shove it all into a bread roll if that's what you it so don't be disheartened if this isn't how um it's not as flavoursome but also try and if it isn't right see what you'd like next time would you like a bit more spice would you like a bit more sweet going on in there it's a good opportunity when you're first learning to spice and getting used to this it's a great way of understanding how you um what you'd like in terms of um your spicing okay so i've just marinated the chicken and that's gonna go it's not very um it's not you know they don't look so um spiced up but there's loads masses masses of flavor going on all right so i'll just pop that side you can air fry the chicken if you want to the thing is today we're doing the potatoes in the oven so if the oven's on you may as well just chuck it all in the oven but if you're not um then it's worth you know you can you do that straight into the air fryer it's entirely up to you the potatoes would work in the air fryer as well but you but for today i've used an oven recipe so this um the chicken's gonna take sort of t between i'd say up to about 35 minutes to cook halfway um Point, just turn it around um, on a 200 heat if you're using the oven what do you think in the air fryer Sam how long will it take um, probably 200 degrees for 14 minutes 14, 14 15, 15 minutes, minutes yeah. yeah okay let me know when you're ready when your chickens been marinated and then we'll go straight into doing the uh, potatoes Anybody need any help? Or you are all like, okay. I think everyone's okay. I think they're just finishing up marinating. Okay. 
Okay, I'll just get grab the ingredients for our potatoes. So potatoes, um, chef crush, sunflower oil, a blob of butter, salt, and curry masala. So while I'm um, while we while I'm talking to you guys. I am actually eating oil and um, I, I am dairy free anyway, but I am having my butters. I'm eating normally. I um, don't really have snacks or if I have a snack, I have um, like I've just had about a teaspoon of nuts or, or seeds or a tablespoon of nuts and a teaspoon of seeds. I might have an oat cake, but I'm blogging about it. So if you want to know about what I do, then there's a blog out there if you want to um, just ask me if you're stuck i'll share it in the curry club page but yeah i am i am blogging and i'm eating normally which um and i just feel really healthy around it so it's a nice way it's a really healthy way to do it okay. so i'm going to chuck a little bit of oil into my um tray my oven tray and i'm going to do that for the other one as well just so that there's um oil going on in my my um my food doesn't get too sticky but i'm using big um big trays some of i could do with a brush actually darling just a brush sorry <clears throat> and we're getting you eat dal as well don't you? yeah i eat let i eat curry let dal lentils every lunch time so i've got little pots about 150 to 250 grams worth of curry every lunch time um, I, I think the reason I eat curry, it's like having soup, so it's filling and it gives me my spice hit and it stops me from um, going all out with like the breads and the, because I've had my, um, my, my kind of fix really. So that's why I do that. Really keeps me happy and full. So, and for breakfast, I either have porridge or eggs. I actually eat eggs a lot on their own, just with some tomatoes or um, a bit of avocado or some vegetables. So I, I do eat eggs quite a lot as well for breakfast or just a snack. So there's my um, corn pieces. They're ready to go in the oven. Thank you, Doug. And so into my, directly into my oven tray, I'm going to pop the potato. So I want them crushed up. Five minutes. Just leave them out there for a minute because they're going to go in with the potatoes. So the potatoes aren't ready. Um, so the chop your potatoes as you want to. So what we're hoping to do is get crushed up potatoes. Um, so I'm kind of slicing them or making them in half. The smaller they are, the more surface they've got to get crunchy. Okay. Um, so I'm just slicing them in three basically so I'd, I'd um, talked about uh, I'm going back to my diet but I talked about me not eating carbs anymore with my personal trainer and he said well we'll just have a look how you go and then last week I lost two pounds so I'm still going to stick with what I'm doing so at night I eat a healthy I eat a meal so I'll eat all of this I might even eat a double portion like I, I am eating really well um and yeah I haven't given up my potatoes or carbs I just eat less of them during the day which is a bit weird because most people have them at night and um, most people give them up at night but I've done the opposite so ch chopping my potatoes into three did who was somebody gonna say something to me Potatoes gone rolling. Okay. So if you want.
wanted to, you could put ginger garlic into these. You could do, you, you know, you can do so ma many different things with it. I kept it simple because we've got ginger garlic going on in the um, chicken and we've got ginger going in the salad. So I don't want to, you know, it's one more thing to peel. So I'm just going to use a little bit less. So into these potatoes, I'm putting Chef Crush. Chef Crush is, a, is just a great spice for them. So a good heat teaspoon. My I had a big bag of potatoes, about a kilo of them. So a, a teaspoon of Chef Crush, a splash of oil again. That stops. That will help get crusty, and um, it will also um, stop them from sticking. Uh, um, a small knob of butter. So the butter will give them just a crunchiness that we're after. So I'm using dairy free. Knob of butter chucked in there. A half, I've said a half a teaspoon of cardamom kick or um, curry masala. I'm using cardamom just because we don't use this enough and it is actually really nice. Um, on that you can get that hit of cardamom already so nice on these potatoes and a big pinch of salt you know even a teaspoon of salt you there's something about um i'm using crunchy molden is it molden salt this nice stuff what's it called mm, yeah i'm just going to give that all a shake around I've actually not spiced it as much, you know, you can go double the spice if you want to with this, but I haven't, I haven't, just because, because we're going to flavour it, flavour them again when they're finished. So while we do that, that's, um, we're just overloading it with its spice. It's nice to have that hit there and then it will be even nicer when it's, um, That's it. So nice big. So the chicken and your potatoes can go in the oven for half an hour while we make the uh, the coleslaw, the col the slaw. While we do that, we'll also finish off the. We'll we'll make a pile of the, all the bits and pieces that we're going to put on the potatoes to finish them. Okay. So if you want to just um, pop your potatoes in, we'll finish. We'll we'll make a bowl up of all the finishers for the potatoes and then we'll make the slaw. It's, does, how does that sound? Yeah. Is, it, is the chicken meant to be in yet or not? Not yet. No, well, yeah. it, um, it's up to you. I've said to put it in later because it gives it that freshness. I'd rather put it in later as part of the yeah. salad dress, dressing that we're doing in this, but it's yeah. up to you. If you want to put it in now because you're scared of the rawness, then mm. do, do it now. But I personally would put it in after. Okay, I'll leave it a bit. Okay. Right, so this can go in. The thing is, the the finisher that the, that we're going to prepare is going to go in quite. Um, in all the ovens as well. While the potatoes are quite hot. The ovens, yeah, so the chicken. the chicken, the veggie chicken, and the potatoes, all three can go in the oven. Time. Uh, Two hundred degrees, and we're going to check them in twenty minutes. Right then, I've given my spring onions and things a bit of a rinse. So I've got some uh, spring onions to go on to. This is our, for the potatoes, okay? The so spring onions, trust me, these potatoes are gorgeous. I did, um, we made them yesterday, it's really nice. So spring onions, one fresh chili. I've got a red one.
some salt, the juice of a lemon or a lime, doesn't matter. We've got half a lemon sap from the tandoori, so I'm gonna use that first. We can taste and then decide if you want some more. Some garam masala and a bit of chaat masala. They are your, gonna go into a dish. So start again with um, your lemon and then if you've got any seeds, they can be uh, fished out. You could also zest it if you want, but if you're gonna zest it, make sure that there's no wax, so you need to wash your lemon. Um, Can you see how I'm really squeezing all that juice out, giving it a really good squeeze out? And then um, I'm going to, straight into the lemon, I'm going to chop the spring onions. So I've given them a rinse, just give them a slice through. please so the spring onions can go in the lemon And um, because this is a fresh, because we're going to do this fresh, I am actually going to take the seeds out of the uh, chilli, okay? Just take them, pop them, slice it in half and take the seeds out. Hopefully away from your eyes. So I've got a fruity red chilli, which is always, is, is quite, not usually very spicy. I'm just gonna slice them down. Keep your fingers out of the way. Just slice them down till they are fine. And then again, just chop the chilies down. Nice and fine. You could keep some of the chili back if you don't if you think it's gonna to be too much. Um keep it keep some back for your coleslaw. I keep calling it slaw, it's just a slaw, it's not really a coleslaw. Okay. So the chili can go into that bowl. A teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna use my pink salt this time. I've actually, I've said about half a spoon. I'm just gonna go in with a flat kind of half a spoon, yeah of salt. You can always re-season once you've tasted it. So go in less if you're not sure. A little pinch of chaat masala, so about a quarter of a spoon. Are you guys keeping up? Do you need me to slow down? And then about a half a teaspoon of garam masala. Sorry, the no, I missed the first you just put on there. Ah, okay, so six spring onions are gonna go pop in, or just like a bunch of spring onions. Handful of fresh coriander, some fresh, uh, your fresh chilli, so I've taken the seeds out, chopped so, them small. So no, coriander, spring onions, chilli, just give everyone a chance just to get that stuff together. 
Half a teaspoon of salt. Sorry, what did you do with the coriander? I missed that. Haven't put it in yet. Uh, okay, garam masala and chaat masala. Yeah. Okay, and then your fresh coriander. Now, I actually haven't got, I've only got some, I've got this bag of um, of leaves floating around. So I'm going to have to use these instead of my whole, um, of my usual um, ones that I wanted. But it's okay. I'm just, uh, coriander's gonna go in now. I've got some coriander, so I'm just sorting out my spice, my uh, herbs. So you've got coriander, you've got spring onion, you've got a chili that you've de-seeded, you've got chaat masala, garam masala, is that it? Spring onion, fresh coriander, chili, salt, juice of a, um, I've used the, ended up using half a lemon, uh, some garam masala and chaat masala. got these oregano leaves I don't should I use them Sam? Go for it. Actually that's really nice. Spicy. You never think of oregano as spicy do you? So I've got a nice big handful of coriander from my mix here. And I'll just give that a mix. So I've got this, um, the uh, stalks as well, the lower bits of the stalks. So we kept some of them, so they're just a bit fresh. So my coriander. So chives could go in, parsley, um, mint if you weren't putting mint in an, another dish. So th this is really up to you how you want to... Um, finish your potatoes but it's just so nice to have that freshness okay that's it and just leave that to one side till your potatoes are cooked just pop those in right at the last minute as you serve it okay let me know when you're done and then we'll make our slaw Can I have that coarse grater? Are you still looking at a watch? No. Problem with your storage and your problem. The big one. The court, yeah, the big one, the box one, please. Look how gorgeous this pomegranate is. Except the one that was left out by the window. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. A 
I'm making my slaw in there. So I've got a pepper. I said I didn't have all the ingredients. I've, I've been doing a catering job and I just couldn't face going back out to get another. It was a, a red onion that I was missing. So I'm not gonna put it in um, and it will be fine. We've got raw onion going in on the potatoes. So yeah, I'm just gonna miss, miss that bit out, but I've got a big, I'm gonna use the whole, um, the whole um, cabbage. So it's not like I haven't got, um, yeah, it will, it will all balance out. Let me know when you're ready and we'll start, I'll start to preparing this. Anybody stuck? Anybody need any help? and I went to watch um, Whitney yesterday and um, there was a woman who sat by right next to Krish who decided that she was gonna, she was Whitney for the night so every time there was a song on this lady sang Whitney's song at the highest loudest way she possibly could it was like the most amazing experience with the worst experience, worst karaoke next to you, all in one. My senses haven't recovered. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't join in then, Regina. No, Did but the thing well? is, the thing is, if you're gonna do a ballad, if you think you're gonna like, you're that good, then I suppose great, brilliant. Who am I gonna not to knock your confidence? But my <laughs> word. I'm glad I can. I'm, I'm glad I survived, and my hearing's um, still here. <laughs> well done. All the way through, every song that Whitney sang, she was apart from the first one. I don't think she knew the words. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm um, I'm uh, usually I fall asleep. I get distracted. I'm not very good with watching films. And it, but I didn't yesterday. I, th I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will go back to watch it again, hopefully with no karaoke singers next to me. <laughs> a bit, I feel a bit of a diva saying all of this. Regina. <laughs> uh, yep. Are you get? Are you going to a pantomime next weekend? Is it next Saturday? It's Friday and Saturday. Oh, we have maybe have to get tickets for Friday night. Sorry, we, we haven't got any tickets, but the, we can't go Saturday. But we could possibly go on Friday. Oh yeah, come. Are there any? Because you know, Graydon is is uh, it's 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 Jack and the Beanstalk yeah. that, that they're doing, and Graydon is Jack. <gasps> uh, um, Did he tell you? Well, no, he didn't. We it was really rushed yesterday. So, um, will I, are there any tickets left? I don't know. Okay. Um, I'll ask Andrew when he gets home. Okay. Do you? It's always good fun, isn't it? It is good fun. 
I think it'll be lovely to go. It is Sam, do you want to go on Friday? I, it's someone's birthday at work, and then so I've got a meal out, and then I've got their mics down. Uh -huh. His face is just lit up. up with having an excuse for not having to go to a pantomime. Yeah. You're too grown up. In your, when you're in your twenties, you're too grown up for a pantomime. So you need to get to about thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> sort of going back to your childhood again. <laughs> He's had. You know, we used to do so many pantomimes, and he just hates them. <laughs> Is that right, Sam? Well, no, I, I have actually got a plan next Friday. <laughs> Well, should we go to it on Friday night? We're doing the Quat Village Hall's um, Burns Night on Saturday. And do you know what? It's an absolutely brilliant night out. It really is a, a re very good value. The food is amazing. It's just such a good night out. Right, I'm starting to chop. I've got some mint here, a bunch, small bunch of mint leaves, which I've just chopped into my dish for the slaw. So let me know if you're if I'm going too fast. I'm not sure what to do. Shall I keep going? Right, I'm just taking the pith out. Mm, I'm not quite up with you, Regina. It's because I'm too busy gossiping. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, 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 I just finished my finishers to go in the potatoes. Oh, okay. I've already got the pepper shot, so and the carrot peel. Oh, good that you've got your I'm parrot. There and thereabouts with you, I think. Oh, good. All right. All right. So I'm gonna um. So for my pepper, I am actually gonna peel it. So if you've not, if um. So the reason I'm doing that is it. You know when you just um, it repeats on you. It's the skin that we struggle to digest. So I've just got a fine peeler, peeler, and I'm just gonna peel it. If some of it doesn't come because of the ridges, that's fine. If you're not bothered, then if it doesn't affect you, then fine, keep going, because it's good for you. But that's the reason I do that. Okay, I'm just going to slice the um, pepper in. I'm going to take the white pith from the inside, just give that a peel so we've got a nice finish on the um, peppers and just give, uh, just chop them finely sliced into the dish. Use your chopping board if you're not comfortable doing it the way I do it. Don't forget your chicken and your potatoes. Are you putting the chicken in the air fryer, Dal? Or is it gone in the oven? It's gone in the oven. Oh, great. Fabulous. Because otherwise, it's going to be too quick and get cold. Perfect, okay. So I'm going to just check it. 20 minutes time is on. I'll turn things around. Yeah, in, in halfway through, give your potatoes a bit of a shake. Give your chicken, turn your chicken around. Just going to peel the carrots. I've got two big carrots here. Top and tail them and peel them. So dress up your vegetables, make them a little bit special because it will encourage you to eat them. Just makes it a little bit nicer to eat, I think. And if they're raw, 
in like a salad, then you're getting really goodness, lots of goodness in you. I'm actually gonna, when I get five minutes, I am starting to study nutrition and be weaving it into all my dishes. I think I do, we do it well anyway. Um, we eat well, but it's gonna be good to really understand the carrots. So not so, you know, um, gym kind of diet. Oh, we're not gonna eat carbs or we're gonna just eat eggs. Not that kind of diet, but really focusing on five a day and the nutrients, the vitamins, minerals that our body needs to function. So. month another curry some sort of curry and then we're going to do um another burger and dirty fries a version of that because i don't think we've done that again and it was good wasn't it burgers what do you think sam the burgers and dirty fries that we did white cabbage, pepper, mint, carrots and pomegranate. Pomegranate. I've cut it in half because I'm only using half and the first thing I'm going to do is just follow the pith and then break it down so what I've done what I'm doing is just chucking this into a different bowl actually so that I can take away any of the white bits okay so it just means that we're going to have nice pomegranate in our salad rather than having the pith trying to fish that out just makes it a little bit easier um, and I'm just going to break it, pop it all into this bowl and then split it down. splattered myself with pomegranate juice. My pleasure, Sam. Do 
Regina, I cheated and bought a packet with the seeds already out. How much of that should I use? Um, you can you know, Laurie, if you're not gonna if you're gonna chuck the rest, put it all in. Um okay. yeah, if you're gonna if it's just gonna sit in your fridge for days, just use it. But if you're gonna have if you want some for snack later, then keep some back. I'm tempted to use all of it actually, um, because just for that reason, when am I gonna pop the other bit the other half of it out and Am I going to end up chucking it? And it is such a nice pomegranate. It seems a waste to not use it. I'll use it. I have my lunch. Shall I pop it out for you then? Yeah, please. Mm. Oh, I love being your mummy, Sam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, I know. <laughs> it's a bit boring, isn't it? No, not at all. <laughs> so there you go. I'm going to pop the other half and then Sam's got it for his lunch. Oh, really is it? Mm. Just pop them. Yeah, just pop them out then. So I've literally just pulled it apart and uh, let the seeds fall out, and I'm gonna just take the pith away. All right, it's the easiest way. I, I'm not gonna sit here with a pin. I'm not gonna bash it around. It's what it is, and I've got juice everywhere, but. I don't know why I picked this dish for today. I, I, I have no idea why. Because I was just, because I've made this, um, I have no idea. But, um. No, you did, because I haven't eaten any vegetables for ages. Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Laurie. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know why I picked this dish. It feels like it should be a summer barbecue dish, but hey ho. All of this shoved in a naan or in the summer or in a bread roll or something. That would be quite a lovely thing to do. Do you know, um, uh, Sam's friends came for, uh, I, I call it naan night, right? So what happens is we, um, I stand here making fresh naans. They give me the requests and I'm making naans all night. So we do that. And um, I should do it with Curry Club actually one day. Anyway, we do that and um, we were, uh, making these um naans well i just can't remember why i'm what why was i talking about the naans it was delicious wasn't it doll for christmas we did it oh yeah i'm planning on having a galway party so it's just going to put half my pomegranates into the salad I'm keeping some back for sam and then i'm just going to do my um, cabbage. So I'm going to cut this in half. <sighs> cut it in half again and take the pork out. I've given this cabbage a really good 
um, a really good wash. So I, it is going to go straight into my salad. Just taking a few of these tougher outer leaves out. It. and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel the, some of the cabbage so I get some really fine but be careful that you when you're doing this because you don't want to um, you don't want to cut your hands it's a bit awkward but if you do a few of them you'll get a good texture or you could do this through your food processor if you've got one, which I should have done really, but. The potatoes getting lovely and crunchy and crispy, Dad. They're, they're not crispy, yeah, but they're, they're cooked because they're not, they've just gone straight through. Mm -hmm. Potatoes are looking and smelling fantastic. Ah, oh, it's exciting, isn't it? I've just turned mine over, turned them around for the second time, and oh, God, they smell good. You wait till you put all those freshness on them. Oh, yeah. It's going to be, yeah, it's exciting. I've still got um, recipes to write for the Veggie Society tonight. Um, and so then I can then absolutely chill out. It's been really full on this weekend with um, j just everything going on. I'm not complaining, it's good. I do um, eight classes. At the gym a week wow. every morning I do a, um, either a 6 30 or 7 a.m. Uh, class Fridays a bit relaxed I go about a little bit later and then I do three lots of yoga a class as well a week wow. which is why I've not had to give up too much on my food because <laughs> I'm doing loads of exercise 
and I try and get my steps in most days. But I'm so much healthier for it. You know, I sleep better. So let me know when you finish your, because um, I'm just going to stop doing this cabbage. I think I've got plenty in here. I've only got two little bits left, actually. But, um, yeah, let me know when you've, you're ready with your, and then we'll do the dressing for the uh, slaw. And pretty much dinner's ready. If your potatoes aren't crunchy enough, you could put the heat on in the oven a little bit. Or, um, yeah, and just get your chicken out and cover it to rest, because the chicken will benefit from resting cabbage Adrina your, your recipe says uh, put some mustard yeah into the that's good is that just ordinary English mustard you know yeah you can bit. use any you want English mustard French mustard, Dijon mustard, any mustard you've got floating around will do. Okay. That's your dressing. But we'll do that in a minute when we've finished this, uh, when we've made. We'll do that in a second. So if you're using a fresh chilli, I'm not, I'm not going to put chilli in here because I've got the chilli in the potatoes going on I think that's plenty and, I, and I'm just going to check on the potatoes I'll be back in a second okay so let me know and we'll make the dressing together bowl is just too small for this lovely does that look okay let me know where, when you're ready and we'll make the dressing no there's quite a lot of chopping and grating etc to do so Ready to do the dressing. Great. Is everybody, anybody else ready? Shall I start? Yes, ready. Okay. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get myself a bowl and a sieve because I can then just really focus on um, if there's any pips. My orange is too big. I want some citrus, I want like a fruity hit, but I think that's too much. So I'm only going to use half for now. And if I want extra fruity sweetness, then I know I can use my other half. So I've got, I'm using my sieve because it's floating around here already and it will catch any pips, okay? So I'm starting with the orange, just squeeze that orange straight into my bowl. So we haven't got a heavy mayonnaise, um, this isn't going to be a mayonnaise type heavy um, dressing, this is just a, some fruit really, um, lemon, the tartness of the lemon. I think we might have done this one before. 
is particularly really lovely actually and you can always add a dollop of yogurt on the side or your um a little bit of mayonnaise if you wanted it so big juicy and i've just crushed my potatoes so if your potatoes aren't are still soft give them a little crush with your fork and that will hopefully help them crisp up and i've put the heat up as well chicken's out chicken's just resting and uh that's it so i'm just going to squeeze my lemon So I've got my lemon and orange juice in this dish. Um, I'm going to peel the great, uh, the ginger. Now, the, I want the juice of the ginger. Um, so if there's any fibery bits, bits, I'm going to give them a squeeze into the dressing, but I'm not going to use that fibery bit, all right? So, great. Yeah, give it another few minutes just until we're ready, dog. Just letting the potatoes go a little bit longer. So I've got all that fibery bit in my hand because it's just turned to fiber, like fibrous bits of ginger. I'm gonna squeeze it straight in, but I'm not putting it in with the um, dressing because I just don't want that lumpiness of it. This is spicy. This will add the juicy spiciness from the um, ginger and any of the bits that are nicely finely grated fine they can go in i don't want to add extra um the fiber in bits okay so ginger ginger lemon pinch of chart salt pinch of chart masala straight into there half a teaspoon of salt so we've got some seasoning so we've got the sweetness of the orange savoriness of the salt and then the spice comes from mustard i've said a teaspoon of mustard i've got dijon here it's a teaspoon of mustard whole what's the whole one that you have that would be nice as well if you didn't have this any any really there's no oil. If you want to, you can add a bit of oil to it. I've not. I don't think it needs it. And I've left the chilli out because I'm putting it into the uh, potatoes. I don't want everything, to, I don't want my meal to be fully spicy. So that can go onto your dressing. You can, you can do that last minute if you want to. I'm just going to do it now. And then start mixing that together just take your time to get all that dressing round your um vegetables your... and it will sit even dressed in the um dressing in your fridge for a couple of days i didn't have any um fresh coriander and like i say i couldn't be bothered to go out i've just been out so much i've just been shopping and cooking for the last few days so you could put a grind of pepper on this as well actually lovely mm. should we get Sam down to taste my salad this salad 
Right, I'm ready to dress the potatoes. Let me know when you guys are, where you're at. That's my potatoes. They're a little bit greasy. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and just pick up a little bit from the, just to make sure that I haven't put too much grease. You could drain them, but I don't want to because I don't want to lose the crispy bits, but just go through and um, pick up a little bit. It's not that bad, it's not, there's not that much. And then my um, coriander, chilli, the spices, spring onions, chuck them on your potatoes, okay? And while they're hot, so they soak up all that flavour, give it a little bit of a mix round. That looks good. I'll have a, I'll have a, um, a plate, please, and a big flat white plate, please. And your chicken, a piece, maybe some of your chicken. Is that okay? Lovely, thank you. Chicken, please. Even if you just give me someone a plate. I'm ready to serve. Are you guys? Thanks, Sam. That's good. Is that good? Mm. It's a little pile of coleslaw. I keep calling it coleslaw, don't I? Are you happy with the seasoning of it, Sam? Maybe a bit of salt, but that's really good. So you could do that on the plate, couldn't you? Otherwise, it's going to just keep releasing its juices. Some of our potatoes. I've got a mixture of crushed up ones and all, yeah. Alright Sam, do you think I've done a good job there? That's good, yeah, really good. So I haven't actually got any like um, dressing or any finishings or anything because it's all in there. It doesn't need anything else. The chicken's super moist. Um, the potatoes look amazing. Hold your plate up. And the salad. Any questions? <laughs> I think it, it tastes better than it looks actually. It looks a bit. Mm. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Any questions? Anybody got any questions? No. That looks amazing. It does. <laughs> Are you ready to um say goodbye to me then? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. Hopefully see, see you on, on Friday. Friday. Fingers crossed. Um, if anybody's got any questions, hang on. Remember, I need to know which dishes you'd like to cook with me so I can weave that. I want to do the whole, like, at least six months worth. So okay. please add that. And anything you need to practice again or, yeah, just do that, please. And mm -hmm. um, Happy New Year to you guys. Happy Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. See you. Bye. 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 Happy New Year. Bye. 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 B